called Bill's Boats in the small Kansas town of Neodice, an unlikely backdrop for the manufacture of world-class watercraft. No oceans around here, but the city itself built on a rural, typically Kansan work ethic. Now in its fifth decade of creating the most wished for runabouts and cruisers in the boating industry, Cobalt has always refused to compromise on issues of value and service. We've got such a, a legacy and a heritage where cobalt and, and boat building has, uh, in this small Kansas community, has certainly become a way of life for many families. We know that we're building the best boat in the world, and we try and show that in what we're building. I think you build a better boat in a smaller community because you, you know everybody, and it's just more hands-on, I think. Certainly the community the Odisha has been very supportive, but the state of Kansas has also been very supportive of cobalt. There's a genuine concern for, for cobalt, for industry in the state of Kansas, and, and we're very fortunate to be here. In 1968, when cobalt's founder, Pax St. Clair, came home to southeast Kansas, he returned to people who shared his notions of respect. Those early cobalt associates knew that Pack cared deeply about them. And so, as Cobalt grew, successive generations of families came to work there in neo de where the sign at the entrance of the plant reads, through these doors walk the finest boat builders in the world. And you know, Pack's sign is right. It is with a great pride that you are a part of manufacturing and selling such an awesome boat. Even the most carefully managed companies must confront the rigors of a changing economy, as did Cobalt in the early 1980s, when record interest rates, fuel shortages, and a consequent ban on weekend boating threatened the marine industry. And so, Cobalt diversified, taking the talents of PAC's boat-building friends to new markets. And then, with the recession weathered, Cobalt returned its prowess to the water, where its heart will always lie. Looking back on those days, why? It's amazing that we survived, but, but we sure did. As I tell our people, if we really maintain true to our, our niche, keep our quality, uh, we'll survive all those ups and downs. The production line at Cobalt is largely indistinguishable from other marine manufacturers. Truth be known, however, each little function is the most important. In Neodice, boat building is personal, a place where every Cobalt associate decides when a boat is good enough to be called a Cobalt. And that informed judgment has led to Cobalt's winning highest in customer satisfaction in every, every year of an acclaimed National Marine study. Uh, when you win things like J.D. Powers eight years in a row, I think there's often uh, maybe uh, an opportunity for people to ease up a bit. Getting to the point where you're on top in your field is very difficult. Staying there is even more difficult. And we're very proud of the fact that we have less than half the number of problems per 100 boats than the next closest competitor. Everybody in that plant cares what that boat looks like when it goes out the back door. I don't think we've ever completed a new model and said, that's it, we're done. And I don't know that we ever will be. And that's the fun part to produce the best boating experience possible. That is the mission of every Cobalt associate, and it's a promise each associate strives to fulfill every day. When I build a boat, I like to do it like I'm gonna buy it. The wonderful thing about Cobalt, you never have to make an excuse for the product. It's not just a, a job you clock in in the morning and go home in the evening, and you think about it, sometimes worry about it. I love to see a boat that I know that I probably had a hand in building out on the water. We're boat builders, we're passionate boat builders. We're not a collection of MBAs getting excited about spreadsheets. We're getting excited about boats. In the daily pursuit to be the best, there's one word that best defines the cobalt way of life, family. Everybody out there is just like a brother or sister to me. Once we walk through them doors, it's. It's or family. It's family. And that's not just blood family, that's cobalt family. Neodiche has been very good to cobalt, and, and cobalt has been very good to Neodiche. I don't know that you have one without the other. 
where we can make the quality of life better in Neotiche, we're going to do that. Uh, I think we'll always be, be part of Neotiche. As the sophistication of the boat buying public has grown, Cobalt continues to show an entire industry exactly the way to go. We're pushing the envelope and uh, plan to continue to do so in our, our future models. You can see a new Cobalt come out on the industry and it will be mimicked as close as they can rapidly. We want to keep thriving for the be the best boat in the world. And as long as we keep thriving and get better and better and better, there ain't nobody going to touch us. Across four decades of boat building, amid the landlocked grasslands of southeastern Kansas, some maritime truths have come clear. No task is unimportant. Raising the bar is part of the job description. Character counts. And over and above it all, persist. We have no aspirations to be the biggest. We just want to produce the best boat we can possibly imagine. Going forward, we want to stay true to what has created our success in the past. If that customer has a tremendous ownership experience, we're going to have success in the future.